it's Sam I am. How is everybody? I'm myself. I'm fantabulistic. I'm super excited to be here with you to do another project. This is just going to be something kind of simple. It's more or less just to show you guys something that I got. Um, some fun stuff that I got. Pretty, pretty cool. So I figured we'd do something related to that. Um, I haven't done, gotten too much out to you guys this week. I'm sorry. It's been a little little bad with my eye, but eyes all better, thank God. It still hurts a little bit, or it not, never really hurt, it just aggravated me, especially when we were in contact, so got that checked out because, you know, eyes are nothing to mess around with, so that's all better. Then, um, what else do we got to talk about? The contest. I, tomorrow, it's like 8 o'clock now on Friday night, so 24 hours, but y'all see this not then. It'll be way after that. But Samantha Dunlap was one first. I haven't heard from her. And Cora Dixon won third. I haven't heard from her. Sherry Lewis won second. I heard from her. She's going to get her gift. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, I think that's all I really have to talk about right now, believe it or not. Oh, I did a video since the last video I did with the shelves. I did an Easter video. And... I cut it out. I cut the big part of the video out when I was deleting videos. So, because my phone only has so much room, so you have to start deleting. And apparently I delete Because you know how when you push, when you're scrolling through, and sometimes it'll check some that you didn't know, that you didn't mean to check? Well, if you don't check that those are checked, then they're gone. That's what happened. So, but look, I made these bunny butt coasters. Oh, are they cute? There's these little bunnies that I got at um, Dollar Tree. They're, they're the butts. Hold on, let me show you. Oh. They're so cute. Oh. Why does that thing fall over? It fell over the other day and scared the crap out of me. It's these. See, look. I got them at Dollar Tree, so I took most of that butt off. Butt puff on his butt its tail and I cut that off and then we put him down in there but what I did is I took this coaster and I put it on top on the first layer that I did and I put uh, uh, this let's just show you it's just easier to show you than to talk because evidently I can't get my words out I put this on top and then I let it cure big mistake because where this sat, it the resin cured around it, so it didn't fill in there. And then plus, the back of this coaster is matte, so it left a matte mark. So then I uh, mixed the glitter that I used, and then I went back and I filled it in the next layer. You can see on this one right there where the um, the coaster was that I had. It dug down in there, but I mean. For one time a year, they're pretty cute, huh? It's just you guys didn't get to see me make the bunny butts. I'm just so sad. There they are, the bunny butts for Easter, which is way too early. I just can't even fathom that. You know what else I can't fathom? I was driving down the road and I was like, man, I didn't get braiding anything for Easter. And I'm like, I don't have to do that anymore. We don't have to do the Easter money thing, right? I mean, them days are done. I don't even want to have to look at the candy. So, yeah, I'll, I'll slip in my 20. We'll be good. <laughs> That's easier than going and shopping for candy because, oh, my gosh, I don't know if I mentioned this before. Like, you know, I don't. But all the aisles in the stores look like the Easter Bunny just threw up. I mean, how can there be so many choices of jelly beans? Of I mean, the peep thing is just off the chain. It, they're so cute. I agree. I really wish I had. Well, these... Let me show y'all. This is one set of them. Can you see that? They're gray with pink. Well, I got like a set of 10 and they're, uh, most of them have the peeps on it. I'll go get one before we get done. When I, before we show this, I'll show them to you. They're so, so cute. And I got them at Ross for um, six bucks, five ninety nine, And it was like 10 pair, different cute peeps. I mean, come on. So there's actually another lady in there. I said, if you got somebody in the Easter Bunny age, you need to get these for them because these are adorable. And she said, my daughter, my daughter, her daughter comes around the corner. She's like, oh my God, they're so cute. She's 
I say 20, you know, to me, that's a kid, but she was loving them. So that was cute. I was glad I got them. And, um, hmm. and that's about all I have right now, guys. I'm just glad to be here. I wasn't going to do anything. I was just kind of laying in there watching TV. We were supposed to go bowling or to a movie this evening. And so I got up, got ready, because, you know, to go anywhere from here, it's at least a 40-minute drive. So you, your destination is 40 minutes to get there. To get home, it's another 40 minutes. Right there, there's an hour and a half of your time. Okay? So anyway, I got up, got dressed. That's another 40 minutes. So 40 minutes to get ready, 40 minutes to get there. So you're talking a good hour and a half, basically, to get somewhere. So I got up, got ready, came out of the art room and because we were going to go do something. Well, then I talked to my son. He's like, I'm tired. I really haven't worked hard today. I don't, I don't know if I want to go bowling. I really wanted to go bowling. I didn't want to go sit quiet in the movie theater. So then we, um, we talked about it. His dad and Braden and I, we were like, well, we'll just go tomorrow. And I was like, okay, that's great. So I just got dressed and ready for nothing, for nothing. Uh, I went to get dog food and to the bank, which is five minutes down the road. Didn't even get out of my car. Oh, no, I did to get the pizza from Little Caesars because it is pizza night on Friday at our house. Without a doubt, pizza night, Friday night. Okay, that's it. Let's go do our project. All right. Okay, guys, I'm back. I wanted to share with you what I got. Is this not so cute? Does anyone know what that is? He's so cute. If you've seen them, then you know what it is. Um, this is a clue as to what we're going to do about this. Does that make it any better? Mm hmm? You thinking? You thinking? All right. This is going to help. Ready? This is from Glitter Chimp. They have the prettiest glitters. They really, really do. I've gone and looked at them many, many times. And I don't know if I've just never looked in the sale section or if I just, at the time, because y'all know I got a lot of glitter, so I'm a little over the glitter for a little while. But it's just so hard to say no to all the pretty colors. It really is. So I had to get some more. And this was my gift for doing it, this cool bag. And this little chap, it's going to be my friend right here at my desk. He's waving at me saying, hey, girl, get your groove on. Get glitterific, sparkly. All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Okay, first I got the Grave Digger. Not as this color. Let me put this down so y'all can see a little better. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna put it like in one something so you can see it. And I, I would be like, no, I can't see that, Sam. I can't see nothing but the inside of a bottle. Here we go. How about that? That's pretty. Look at all those different colors. I like it. And that is Grave Digger. There was kind of a reason I got this, which I've shown it in one of my videos where I showed the picture of my dad and I. We were at the mud races where it's called the Digger's Dungeon or the Grave Digger Park. Yeah, it's the Grave Digger Park. The guy that drives the big four wheel monster truck all around the country. His name is Dennis Anderson. He lives down the street from me. His truck's name is a grave digger. That just summed all that up if you didn't know. If you are if you know the grave digger, then you know the grave digger and you know what I'm talking about. Okay, this one is Pandora. I really, really like this one. I have one that's called Pretty Shifty and it's similar to this, which I really like. So, and I'm almost out of Pretty Shifty. Isn't that pretty? All those colors in there, guys. I know, how can you say no to that? And it was on sale. These are all two ounce plastic containers. I think one of the biggest things I learned since I've started doing resin is ordering glitter. <laughs> I was simply amazed at the first time that I ordered glitter and the actual amount that I received. I was like, you're kidding me, right? And then the sample that they send is I mean, what would I even do with it? Put it, a, a decorate a, a, I don't even know, a pencil eraser? It just amazed me. It really did. So, I really pay attention to when I'm ordering glitter. This is Love You Watts. This is um, Rainbow Ultra Fine Glitter. I just like that yellow and that look to it. 
I don't really think I need to do pour this one out, but we will. Why not? Just a little. It almost looks like the unseekable glitter. I like it. I didn't have a, a pale yellow. When I look at them, I try and think of what colors I don't have. And that's sometimes really hard to do when you're trying to think right then. Okay. This is lollygag. I like it. There we go. This one is a medium glitter. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Then I got Demure. Am I saying that right? Demure? Demure words. <laughs> Demure words. There we go. And I got a pink thing going. I can see that. I I really didn't remember what I ordered. I just knew I had an order coming because I was going through. I was like, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. And they were all the ones that were on sale. I didn't even go past the sale out. I did myself good. This is peach side. It's a peach color like that yellow. Rainbow Ultra Fine Glitter. Whoops. See? I don't think I need to pour that one out. It's just basically like the yellow one, but peach. I didn't have peach. Oh, I did have a like a, a fluorescent peach, more or less. Not really like that. This is the Golden Oldies. I have quite a few gold glitters, so I don't know why I ordered this one. It's gold. Oh my God. I just built it all over the mat. You know how I hate to wipe up some glitter. Shugs. Kefter. Uh, oh my God. Okay. I have to get that in a minute, y'all. Ah, okay. All right. These are the ones I'm going to use. I got to cover that up so I just can't even see it. How about that? There we go. All right, this is Delicate Blue. So pretty. <gasps> Look at that, isn't that sweet? I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I can't wait to use it. And we are gonna use it right now. And I got a whole two ounces of that to use. And you can see it really reminds me of, um, I don't know if it's classified under those or not. Um, but the mixology, I, I just love those. Like the ones I got from Let's Resin, but they're about yay big. That's what they remind me of. And now the more I've looked after I've gotten the mixology from Resin, I see that there's others that are like it. I just fell in love with it with Let's Resin. Okay, this one is Celebrate. in that cute? Celebrate, celebrate. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I really, really do. I really have a lot of glitters that I don't use more often. I don't know why. Okay, now this one is Euphoria. I like the word. I'm liking the word, baby. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Look at the Mylar flakes in it. Well, I don't know. If, is that what? glitter is to begin with. I don't know. Look at those little clear pieces in there. They're made out of different metals. I know that. Um, I was looking into it about possibly making glitters. I don't think that's something I want to do, but we'll see. We shall see what, what the future will bring. Right now I got my hands full. Okay. Then this one. I love it. Well, my favorite all-time movie. Let me put it out, and then I'm going to show you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And you know what it is? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yep, it's Dory Colors. How beautiful. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I mean, that's just great for the name. So I am super excited about these glitters. I hope you guys like them. Now I am a new affiliate with Glitter Chip, so I will have a code down in the description. So if I was you, I would go check out their beautiful glitters yourself and see what it is you have to have that you can't live without. I'm not gonna judge, nobody will judge. You are free to do as your budget will let you. 
and they do have that little and I'm that's how I get a lot of my stuff is by having that four payment thing whether it be through a firm uh, Klarna uh, I can't think of the other ones there's quite a few of them where they you make a payment and then you make four more or something like that that's a great way to get I know for my budget that helps me out if y'all have never seen it or used it or whatever check it out most of your websites have it I wish octopus had it if octopus inks had it then I would have octopus inks that's not happening yet so $180 I think that's before shipping which I mean that's well worth it I know that it's just do I really need octopus inks no do I really want them yes but I am old enough to know that wanting something and getting it are two different things so y'all just gotta let me clean this up real quick you know how it bothers me real quick and then we can just get moving on promise y'all just talk amongst yourselves look this is something i've never done you know what this is it is my little resin curing plate i always bring the stuff over there but because i want these that we're getting ready to do get done quickly and they're going to be full so i can't move them for a little while until they cure some all right y'all i'm done i know you're like damn sam get on with it i'm sorry Okay, here we go. I'll get that when y'all are on. There we go. I promise I'm not touching it anymore. Not. I'm just not going to look at it. See? All right. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Because you guys know my last video, if you didn't see it, I mentioned that I'm starting a new journey. And I'm going to be doing stuff with uh, all my molds that have to deal with the coast, the ocean, the sea, the, the deep blue, uh, the... I don't know what else you want to call it. The, the beautiful water that's around us. I call it the ocean, the beach. That's where I love to be. So we're going to be doing a journey making using all my molds that relate to the beach. Yesterday we did um, shelves with surfboards. And today I'm going to make coasters. These cool little coasters. With the pretty glitters that I have picked out. And then I, all right, delicate blue. Just keep swimming. And I think Euphoria and, was it Lollygag? Was that the one I was going to use? Demir. Demir words. Could use Pandora. Mm. Let's see. I had it picked out, y'all, until we looked at it. Now I'm like, how do I want to use that one? You see, I really like that one. So that one and this one. No, that's two. That's not what I'm looking for. So, I'm thinking, I'm going to drop this tap one more time. I like the Euphoria. Mm. Um, oh, man, which ones are y'all telling me to use? I want to use the Pandora. I do. I want to use the Pandora and Euphoria. Yep. So, I'm going to move these out of the way. I have to move, use these another time. I don't even have anywhere to put them. I still got all these color passion blues over here to the side that I'm going to be working with on our journey. And I, my resin is a little warm. I'm using the Let's Resin I don't normally use. I'm hoping it lasts for a while because I am out of my normal resin and the resin that I bought, I screwed up. It's not very good resin and it's, it's what I spent my resin money on until I get more resin money. So I'm going to try and do as much as I can, but I uh, I don't know how many videos I'll be able to get out until um, the next time the budget allows resin to be purchased because I screwed up. Like I said, I thought I got a deal and I didn't and lesson learned. So this is on, I mean, this is a, I won't turn it on yet. So this is my resin curing plate. Don't look at the mess of it, but that's it. M care. Hey, y'all know what? I was curious to see, I don't know. I've never touched these over here. Okay, never mind. I always use these anyway. It's turn it on. Settings, you got 122, 140, 158. And then you turn the timer up. And you're good to go. I always turn it up to three. And an hour and a half, two hours. Get her done. Okay, so let's do a little mixing. I got the resin ready. We got the glitters picked out. 
nothing left to do but pour so you know what let's get this pouring party started yeah okay had to do it call me a dork oh. i love it I really do. Oh, I almost stopped in a restaurant today and had an adult beverage. I don't ever do that. I mean, I used to, you know, especially by myself. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. By myself with somebody, it just, I just thought I needed to stop in and see some people. But I just went to the grocery store, to the bank, and got pizza. <laughs> yep, that's what I did. And then I came home, and here I am. I did lay down for a little while. My son and I started watching our show, and uh, I try sometimes to keep my eyes open so hard. Well, apparently, I didn't do very well. But <laughs> he goes, Mom, are you sleeping? I said, No, no, buddy, I, I'm not. I'm not asleep. I'm watching. He said, I am. I was like, okay, well, can we get together later? And he said, yeah. So he wanted to take a nap. So that worked out good. I didn't get busted too much. Ah. Uh -oh, there's something floating in there. Get off it. Okay. Alrighty, guys, let's mix it. Why don't I have sticks out? I don't know. So yeah, I, I was a good girl. I thought I'd be being a bad girl by stopping by myself and having an adult beverage. Just one over an hour is perfectly safe. Okay, this is Pandora. Let's see. Ooh, wee. Isn't that pretty? It's darker than I thought. Oh, it's a little darker than I thought, but that's okay. All right, now we've got um, that's Pandora. Now we'll go Euphoria. That's pretty. This really is. Reminds me of a baby girl. <sighs> it really does. Okay. Delicate blue. That reminds me of a baby boy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's just beautiful. God, that's beautiful. That is really pretty. That might be my favorite. I mean, yeah, I can't say. This one's really pretty, too. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty. That's really pretty. But that's just beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's awesome. And it's perfect for Just Keep Swimming. Okay. So, let's stir it in. It looks like this is the lowest amount. Looks like that's the highest. So, let me... There's really not much on here to... um. I mean, it's really thin. Hold on, I'll show y'all. They're cool coasters, though. You might be able to fill them in. Maybe we'll fill them in. We'll figure that out once they um, get cured. You gotta wipe this. Okay, but see how they're thin? Can you tell? See, there's like nothing. But there's little grooves around, so all that glitter's gonna go down in there. Which I think I have like way too much. I'll figure out something to do with it, and then I'll show y'all what I do. All right, so this one, we will do this one. Why not? Hopefully, I leveled this um, resin curing plate. I mean, not hopefully, I did level it. Believe it or not, it needed to be up on the hump, the ledge of my board to be level. Sometimes I think that's just bull, because when I look at it, I'm like, there's no way that is level. Like when I was doing my picture the other day, my big one to that I finally finished and putting the final layer on there. I was like, there's just no way that hiked up all on the side could be 
Apple. It was. Beautiful. Wow. I love it. All right. Now what? This one? This one. These are the bigger ones. The last set I made was really pretty. I gave this to my sister. Because it wasn't... If they're not quite perfect, I mean, they're just like... Something simple isn't right. Then I'll give them to her. She's got lots of them. I mean, I don't give her just the bum ones. It's just she's got an ocean house. Thing, house too, and she likes to rotate her towels and everything for the different holidays. I mean... All the way down to the white napkins and the, not white, white thin napkins, you know, that towels that you have in the bathroom for the guest towels. That's what I'm trying to get out. And then she has the little napkins for the holidays in there. It's just, my sister's the hostess with the mostest and her husband is the host with the most. They're like entertainers for sure. And their home, oh my God, is spectacular. And they've done all the work themselves. That's where I go when they go on vacation in the summer, a couple times a year, I go over and I watch their dogs. They have three dogs. Love them. They love their Aunt Sam, too. And I'll go stay the week. And I can just, what, since I'm not there, I don't really have things that I can do. So, basically, we just lay in the bed, lounge around, order food. Um, she'll leave stuff there for us. We're just lazy people. I binge Netflix or whatever. And the dogs love it because their mom and dad, they're, they're home a lot, but they're just always busy. I mean, they are, they, I don't think they would know what to do if they didn't have something to do. And they work like a million hours, so I don't know how they have time to do anything else. It's just the energy of these people is amazing. And she's my sister, I said, yeah, I didn't get those jeans. I don't know what happened to my jeans. I was robbed. All right, guys, what do y'all think? I think they look good. Let's hit a little little algae haul. I've started using this more and see different situations when I can and can't because I don't want to mess up my molds. So I'm going to turn this bad boy on, on, one, two, three, and we'll put it at an hour and a half. It's probably not going to take that long because they're so thin. This one looks like it's a little full. Don't you overflow. Oh, it's going to. Yeah, I see you, dude. I see you. I'm coming. That's how you fix that. Soak up a little bit. Is that better? How about you? How are you guys doing? I mean, I didn't have much room to go over on how I did that. Man, that's so pretty. I mean, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. I've just always been partial to blue. Even when I was having my baby, I wouldn't have the ultrasound done. And I, I, I mean, I was a tomboy. Then when I did start liking baby dolls and everything, my baby doll was a boy baby. Like when the Cabbage Patch Kids first came out. Well, it just so happened we couldn't get one. My parents, they tried and tried. Well, somehow one of my dad's friends and his friends, anyway, they knew somebody that had that uh, worked at the one stores that was selling them. I don't even remember. But they had um, rain checks on them. And they had gotten two rain checks. So we actually got to go in the back, in the storeroom. All these baby dolls, Cabbage Patch Kids, stacked to the ceiling. It was like, oh, you just walked in and seen all these babies. In the, uh, at my age, our age? Yeah, that was pretty cool. But anyway, I wanted a baby boy, and that's what I got. I got a baby boy, but I wanted a ball-headed baby boy. I ended up, I didn't know he had a little hat on, so he had a little patch of hair, like that big, sticking out. I mean, it still ended up being cute, but I wanted a baby, ball-headed baby. That's okay, but that's what I was getting at. I always wanted a boy. In my dreams when I was growing up and I saw myself as a mom or, you know, when you pretend, with things you do when you're a little girl. And you think about, I always saw myself having a boy. Never a girl. Never. So, the day it came for an ultrasound, I don't even know if they do this anymore, if they tell you what you're having before you do. We came in, and she um, asked us, she got the pictures and everything, she says, so do you want to know what, what you're having? I said, well, I'm wearing blue, he's wearing blue. Are we going to need to go get a new shirt? She said, nope, you sure aren't. I was like, yay! We're having a boy, yahoo! 
which was so great because my um the other my my husband's cousin which was uh, one of my very best friends she had her baby like 11 months before we had Braden and then basically the nine, nine months exactly or 10 months is pretty much what you're pregnant later my niece comes along which Maureen that you've heard me talk about her before that's my um husband well, ex-husband's sister we were all really close anyway so she had her daughter so it was Shaylin then Brayden and then Reagan I know we all had the end thing going on but they they grew up like they were right there behind each other and it was really good because Brayden's an only child and I knew that would well people said that would be a uh, issue but I I didn't want any more kids I wanted one kid that was enough I did not want any more and I, I just felt like it would be okay because he had his cousins that were so close in age. All right, that's that. I'm leaving that. I don't even know what I was getting at. Oh, talking about the blue wearing the shirt. I'm going to find something to do with this, let this cure, and I'll be back. All right, guys, we're back with our cured pieces. I put these on the resin cure. Or y'all saw me put them on the resin curing plate. Seemed like it took them a lot, a lot longer to cure. Um, maybe because it's they're so thin. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm not used to using Let's Resin Resin. I've only used it. This is my first bottle that I've had of it. So, and I've had it for a while because I just haven't been using it because I got my epoxy resin store. It's just different. And, you know, so now I kind of have to use it. So, I've got to try and get used to it. But I think I can get them demolded. So, what I'm going to do is I've mixed more resin because once we demold these, let's do that first. Without further, and see, they're still flimsy, but the next part, they're separating from the mold, and the next part, they'll finish curing. I hope, eventually, right? They have to eventually. I really don't want to mess them up pulling them out. I mean, I, I'd like to do this video today. All right, that one. Sorry, I gotta do this a little gingerly. Oh, sugar, I just ripped that bad boy. Raga. All right, I guess I wasn't being careful enough. I think I could fix it, I think. If not, I just might cry. Hmm? It's right, I'm not even gonna show y'all because it, it popped back in spot, so hopefully it'll stay right there. All right, got to be a little more gingerly doing this. I mean, but really, it has been, I think, what time is it? It's like 1230. I'm pretty sure I did these like at 9. 930 at the latest. So that's a long time. I'm just going to say that I'm wrong. I don't know. Just normally, I would have expected it to be done. I'll just leave it at that. Because I don't know. I haven't worked with it enough. All right. He's a pretty. And then this little dude, he's really not, he's really um flimsy. So, but I put all the different glitters that we had left over. Doesn't that look cool? And he's a little turtle for our little journey. Okay, now with these little pretties, I am going to do, I've um, mixed up 10 ounces, no, 8 ounces, and I've poured a little bit in each of these cups. What I'm going to add in these is going to be these, these Pixis, um, Pixis alcohol inks, but they're, what are they called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. They're called, uh, mm. I'll link it. They're, they're like, uh, oh my goodness, I cannot remember. Iridescence, maybe? I'll definitely link the name, but you'll see what they're like. And the, the names are Mermaid. This lid was a little booger. Um, this is Fairy. Then this is Unicorn. And this is Dragon. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I had this figured out. And now I'm confused. All right, so this one, 
the unicorns go in there. Then the dragons go in there. Then the um fairies go in there and the mermaids go in there. I'm sure that's not how I first figured it out, but heck, that's what we're going with now. All right, so I am going to put in, let's do the unicorn first. Grab a stick. All right, I'll show you what these do. You shake them. Got that little ball in there. Make sure you shake that up all up with your color. Otherwise, it won't do the special effects that it needs to do. And this is what it does. Let's put it on my stand up because I don't really remember. Oh, yeah, it does that. I'm just kind of squirting some in there, y'all. Because it just seems like it needs to be squirted, not dropped. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so I didn't want to put color in these coasters. But I thought, hmm, well, something. And then I remembered I had those. I haven't used them much. I think we need to squirt more. There we go. It's kind of like those Aurora colors that are out. Let me just put this back on, y'all. You have to kind of barely touch this. It's like a trick to it. So yeah, that is really pretty. All right. That's one there. I already leveled it. Yeah, it gives it something a little different besides just clear, right? I like it. I don't know how much we'll be able to see it once it's cured, but it's good to imagine. <laughs> and that is like perfect amount. I mean, yay. Yay me. <laughs> I'm going to get cocky now and make it overflow. All right, that's good. Wipe this off. All right, so that is the unicorn. Put that back here by the star. Now we're going to do the fairy. I love that blue one. I know I said that before, but I just love it. Which one's your favorite, guys? Did I use your favorite or did I not? Oh, here we go. This is so pretty. I like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure these are called the iridescents because the other ones are called the jewel tones, I believe. Man, I'm not sure. I'll link it though and have the correct name. I, if I'd have realized sooner I was going to use these, I would have looked it up. I just didn't. Fire me. I'm sorry. <laughs> just a little more. That's so pretty. All right. I do have more resin over here. For some reason, I don't have enough because... No, I was just putting a little in each cup. But I have more in reserves. That looks really good, doesn't it? It's beautiful. I don't think that one's quite full. Let me see. No, that one needs a little more in there. So this is what we're gonna do about that. I didn't think it would tell that much, but it looks like you're going to be able to tell. Oops. I'll stir it in real quick. It just seemed like this was the easier way to handle that problem. But now I've created another problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, problem. I'm satisfied with that. I think I got I do. I got an overflow on that sucker. Oh boy. Oh, I do on that one too. It might just have that look. Oh boy. I can't see myself sanding all that if the deburring tool doesn't get it. So we shall cross that bridge when we get to it, which will be soon, but we shall figure it out. 
together. All right, so that was there. This one's the only one, I'm probably gonna add a little, well, yeah, let me just go and pour a little bit more in each of these because these are the bigger ones, so. Okay, alrighty, so now let's do the dragon. Yeah, this top right here, I was coming on the floor fighting with it, trying to get it open. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. That's very, very pretty. I just don't know if you would be able to appreciate the colors in something else. You know? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm having to put an awful lot in there for just a little coaster. Just opinion. My opinion. If you guys have used them before and you had better results with something else, let me know. Don't keep that secret to yourself. I want to know. There we go. Very good. That one's cool. Fantastic. Three down, one to go. Just lit right there. Okay, mermaid. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't shake it. All that work with that lid, I didn't shake it. I'm pretty sure I got these molds on Amazon. I'll have to find out. It'll be in my description though. With my link for you to go buy it. Just for you because you want it. See, I, again, I just hope it does something different that I'm not seeing right now. I'm trying to think if I saw anybody else use these. And what their results were like. I'm, Interested in knowing what you guys have known about them, seen about them, or if you've used them. Let me know. Let me know the 411 because I'm just thinking that I don't see all that for, I'm sure they were pretty priced too. All stuff resin related is. And I don't mind it if it's, you know, worth it. I think I got to put more in there. I gotta scrape the cup, y'all. Forgive me one minute. That's, man, I measured that good. I didn't think it would take that much. But boy, I'm glad I would did that much. Yep, there we go. That's it. Mermaid. More mermaid. Alright. Let's fill her up. Because right there, that is, that's full. Tell me how that worked out nicely. Thank you, Resin Gods. You're my heroes. Hmm? All right, so these are on the resin curing plate. We'll time it now, okay? It is. Hmm. My clock's an hour behind, you know, because I didn't do daylight savings time on it. So it says it's 10 to 12, so it's actually 10 to 1. So at 10 to 2, or 150, we will see what's happening with them. All right, now let's do this. A little 99% isopropyl alcohol to pop some bubbles. I've never really been a fan of it, but I'm getting better with it. I'll have to admit. As long as it doesn't do displacement of the stuff or leave a film, I'm cool with it. 
But when it starts messing with my colors, that's when it ticks me off. And it has. It has done it before. I don't know what the situation was. I don't really quite remember. I was too busy pouting. <laughs> I'm not sure. But this is cool. This works. All right, guys. We'll see what our iridescent colors do. I'll look it up while we're gone. Okie doke. Don't go anywhere. Hey, guys. Uh, I interrupt this program for a special announcement and alert. I didn't get this video out sooner because of Easter and a play day. And I'm just trying to get my groove on, guys. I'm trying to get it back, I should say. And get my groove on. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, I um, am putting this out on Tuesday. Well, I'm finishing it Monday, which is April 1st. This is not April Fool's joke. I did not hear from my first place winner for the giveaway or my third place winner. So, you know what? I'm not going to wait till 1500 to see if I can give this pigment paste away. I am going to do another giveaway to give these two prizes away on this Saturday, live at 8 o'clock. If that time changes, I will post it in the community link. But just know that right now I'm scheduling it for Saturday, alive at 8 o'clock to redo the giveaway so I can see if I can give this pigment paste to somebody because I know you want it. I'm sorry those winners didn't get back with me. So you have your number. If you don't, then you need to see down in the description on how you get the number. Or I shall tell you, like, subscribe, send me a comment letting me know that you did so, and you need a number, and I will send you a number. Hang on to that, because this Saturday we will do the drawing, or the giveaway, uh, it's number generated, and you, we will go by the numbers that I have. I swear I gotta swipe that away. So hang on to your number, and after this giveaway on Saturday, I'll still be doing them as I go with as the channel grows. The next one scheduled is going to be for 1,500 subscribers. But, as I just said, this Saturday, 8 o'clock. I just want to make sure I clarified that because I kind of just bounced around all that. The next one, Saturday, 8 o'clock, okay? Get your number. Then after that, we'll talk more. Um... Yeah, that's what I wanted to let you know. I, I wanted to go ahead and get that out there as quickly as possible so you guys could get prepared, share, tell your friends, make sure you get a number. Let's do it, do it, do it. Get in on it, okay? All right, I'm going to go back down to the project that's complete. All right, guys. All right, guys, we got our pieces that are cured. It took a little time, but we got them. And as you recall, I said I was going to put, or I put these uh, Pixis. I forgot to look what the heck they were. Pretty sure they are the, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just having a complete blank. So I will put it down in the description with the link on where you can get it and what it's called. Thanks, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'll put them in. If you can see, um, they didn't do very good. You can't really tell much. I don't know if it's because it's not with the darker color. That might be the reason. I'm just not sure. Didn't do much for this project. Cute little starfish. I will have to sand this. I didn't do that now. I'll do it. Yeah, so I got that one. And that one was with the unicorn from Pixis and with the euphoria from Glitter Temp. The next one is I really, really love. The delicate blue was used with, what did I use that one with? Fairy, right? Yeah, fairy. And, um, again, I got a little overhang. Too bad I didn't go all the way around because then it would just look like it matched. It was supposed to be there, you know? I'll do some work on that, but these are still very cute, beautiful glitters, man. You can't go wrong with the beautiful glitters, right? I didn't really talk about that much on this side. God, I just love that. All right, and that one was with, um, that was with, before it was with Unicorn. Fairy was with Delicate Blue. And then with um, Keep Swimming, we had Dragon, right? Oh, God, I hope I'm doing these right. I think it's Mermaid. Oh, shakes. I didn't go back and like watch the video, y'all. And you know I can't remember crap. Oh, pretty sure that's the one I did. I will have it linked down. You guys just saw me do it. I didn't see it. I did it two days ago. So... That's terrible. I'm not being a very good host of the video, and I apologize. I just want to get it out to you and let the, the know about the giveaway. So, can I have a pass on this uh, little 
ear <laughs> makes. All right, so that one turned out really pretty. Again, nothing. This doesn't do anything for me. Let's keep swimming, and I'm pretty sure we're made. All right, then this one, pretty sure it's a dragon because that's kind of green. That's the, the one that you see it the most, and I guess that's because we got the dark glitter. So that's what you need, I assume. Again, I'm going to have to go all the way around. I've really got to pay better attention with these little molds because it's just barely hanged on, hanged on, hung on to that and left a little ridge. So, like I said, if it had gone all the way around, it would have looked like it was meant to be, but that didn't happen. All right, so that is Pandora from Glitter Chimp with Dragon Pixis alcohol ink. And then I've mixed all the glitters into this cute little sea turtle trinket tray. Let's see how they all work together. Um, why is this still bendy? That's not cool. What's the deal? Now, y'all, I mixed this right. I've been mixing resin a long time. And, uh, yeah, I just don't see anything. All right, I got to look back and see which one it was I used. I don't want to say anything bad. I'm just going to say it's not, it's bendy. I don't know why. Like I said, I mixed my resin. I've been mixing resin for a long time, so I don't know what happened. We'll just say it just didn't work out this time. Something got hinky, wonky. You know what I mean? It's still cute. I mean, I just... You just have to keep them flat. Just keep them flat. Then it won't be bendy. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked all these glitters that I got from Glitter Chimp. I just ordered today, which I'm kind of glad that I waited to get this video out so I could tell you about it. They have this new invisible ink. I mean, invisible glitter. I know, right? I just, I saw it and I bought it and then I just came out here to you guys. I really didn't read too much into it. I just thought it was a great deal. I mean, like super cheap. I'm going to have it linked. You need to check it out. And apparently the glitter comes with a certificate of authenticity. So I'm surprised. I mean, I'm just anxious to see what we get. So these are all my beautiful glitters that I got, got, got. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them used. I hope you will go take a look at Glitter Chimp. See what you can get for your collection. It's really, really hard to choose. I know, but just start somewhere and then just get a few here and there when you can. Then you'll have a nice glitter collection. Nice, nice, big size, good glitter. I mean, you can't, truly, visit the site. You'll see the price. You'll know what I'm talking about. And I'll have the link with a coupon code. Go get your bags full of some beautiful, sparkly stuff. Okay? All right, I just went over the contest thing. You know about that. Um... I don't think I have anything else to talk to you about. Other than, mm, you know what? No, nope, that's good. I do want to give a shout out to Marva from Marvelous Artsy. Please take a, a moment and go over there and check out her channel if you have not done so. I would also like to give a big shout out to my friend, Miss Wanda from Wanda's Blessed Creations. Talented artist who also will get you, just make you happy. Just bring you J-O-Y because she is just a happy, beautiful person. I highly recommend you check both of those artists out if you haven't already. Um, I will probably Wednesday be bringing you a new product. I meet with them tomorrow to talk about it. I want to make sure I know everything to give you because, you know, that's important. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think that's it. I have... Uh, enjoyed this video getting to know my glitters is a little disappointing with these we'll find something to see if they work in dark to see if that's what the case is don't know why mr turtle's bendy but i guess he was having a bad day who knows so anyway i am going to tell you guys i love you mean it be good or good at it see ya bye nope 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 i know what i forgot i got a daggling note here to remember Tell me more. A game of questions to deepen connection. We have been doing this a few times now. I read a card, and if you would like, you will send me your answer. I will put my answer into the description. I just thought this was a good way to connect with you guys to get a little more information other than you make beautiful stuff. I would like to know this. I would like to know that. I want to know 
more about you if possible. So, you know, I'm, I'm very forgetful. And um, most of y'all know that, and that's because of the brain damage from the brain surgeries. I try, I try to make notes, but I forget to read the notes, or I forget where the notes are, I forget to take the note. So, you just gotta love me for who I am and my mistakes. That's all I can say. So, here we go. The card of the day. Tell me more, tell me more. Isn't that from Greece? That song? All right, here we go. What tends to be a common quality in people you really like? Oh, what tends to be a common quality in people you really, really like? That's good. That's a good one, guys. That's got to make you want to answer. Tell me. Tell me. What quality is it that you often see in those people that you like? What is it? I'm going to have to do a little thinking on this one. I just want honest, honest people. And you guys know what? I'm going to go ahead and say this. I've been dating, you know, trying to date. I should say I haven't done it. I've tried. And I did the video, or uh, what's it called? Online dating. That's just a bunch of crock of crap. I'm going to tell you that right now. I heard some stories, some Emmy winning stories. And I'm thinking, do you, dude, do you really think that I am that dumb? Evidently, you don't know who you're messing with, dude, because I don't think so, you know? And there are, there are some, oh, I know there's great guys out there, but I'm not going to sit here and and scroll through, up and down, swipe left, swipe right. That's just not me. I'm not on social media anyway. I'm certainly not going to find the person I want to spend some time with on online. I mean, if it happens, I don't know how it can happen because I'm not online except with you guys, so... I don't know. Anyway, it's just a little thought there. Um, yeah. What did I go off on that for? Oh, because I want honest people. That's what I'm, yeah, just honest, good, wholesome people, you know? You're not trying to boast yourself, make yourself look big, make it like you're the most important person, that your opinion is all that counts. Um, you don't care where you've gotten and how you got there. What you just have a different outlook on things about what is important. And for everything that I've been through in my life and where I'm at now, I got a big, big difference of opinion on what's important with a lot of people. So that's just me. I will write it down in my description, though. What, um, no, that covers it. I don't think I need to put it in the description. I just want to meet honest people. And happy people. I mean, I love happy people. I've got enough drama. I don't want no drama. I haven't, I've had enough drama in my life. I don't want any more. So, honest and non-drama people. How about that? That'd be good. What's your answer? Come on, guys. Tell me. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.